So some news breaking just a short time ago, and we want to go back to that now. President Biden addressed the conflict in the Middle East, uh, this aspect of it, for the first time, really. He also commented on the hospitalization of his defense secretary, Lloyd Austin. White House correspondent Peter Ducey reporting live from the North Lawn on what the president had to say just a short time ago on his trip to Pennsylvania. Hi, Peter. Martha, this is the first time President Biden has talked about his hospitalized defense secretary since we found out that when President Biden called Austin on Saturday, when he found out that he was uh, in the hospital, Austin didn't tell him why he was in the hospital. He didn't tell him that he was there for complications from prostate cancer surgery. President Biden says he has confidence in Austin, but he did kind of gently rib him a little bit. Listen here. Do you have confidence in Secretary Austin? I do. I'm sorry. Was it a lapse in judgment for him not to tell you earlier? Yes. So he says it's a lapse in judgment for Austin not to have told him earlier what was going on. Very uncommon for a president to criticize a cabinet secretary, particularly since in this case, President Biden says. He is not going to ask for Austin's resignation, and his staff is telling us that he would not accept a resignation if one was offered. Something else really big that came out of the president's little chat, uh, very quick chat with reporters there, uh, it's a change in U.S. policy potentially, because on the Air Force One ride up to Pennsylvania, John Kirby was talking about how a few years ago, the U.S. delisted the Houthis as a terrorist organization. We know at the time they did that for humanitarian reasons to get humanitarian aid into Yemen. Kirby said on Air Force One today that no decision has been made about making them an official terror organization again. But listening to the president, it sounds like a decision has been made. Are you going to call the Houthis a terrorist group, sir? I think they are. Something else the president said is that he thinks Iran, who backed the Houthis, got the message from this 60 targets at 16 location strike late last night. But a few minutes ago, during the commercial break, we got word that the Houthis fired another ballistic missile into those shipping lanes. That is consistent with what the Pentagon told us, that there was going to be some kind of retaliation, but it's different than what the president predicted, that Iran got the message. Martha. Very interesting. Peter, thank you. Very hey, Sean Hannity here. Hey, click here to subscribe to Fox News' YouTube page and catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis. You will not get it anywhere else.